Good morning and welcome to Coffee Walk. We got a little bit of sports car stuff today and a lot of Jeeps, so follow me after I make and mix my coffee. So we got a lead in the last 48 hours on a 1971 E-Type Jag Roadster, two tops that has been in South Texas in a garage slash barn for the last 35 years. When you get a lead like that, you gotta act on it quick. So Big Chris jumped in the truck and trailer in the cache and made a 600 mile round trip run yesterday to pick up this car. We're gonna walk out front and see it for the first time. Morning guys. Morning. Morning, Con, how about them cowboys? Yes sir. Morning guys. Let's check it out. Nineteen eighty three Texas license plate, that's a good sign. Nineteen eighty two Texas inspection sticker, even better sign. Twenty eight thousand mile car with two tops. It's rare to see a seventy one four two car, which is a six cylinder versus a twelve cylinder with two tops. So Alex and David, if you guys will get this out, put it in your bay. First thing I want to do is get up in the air so I can see the bottom of it. After that, put it down and see if you can get it running. Yep. For an original interior, it looks amazing. 28,000 mile car. What's nice about finding cars in Texas garages or barns is you generally don't have any rust. I can't wait to see the chassis. This is one of my favorite parts of uh, being a car freak or a car nut, is finding them. I uh, have to hand it to Kelsey on this one. She found it through one of our wanted dead or alive ads. And we've got a finder down in South Texas that helped us out. Thank you, you know who you are. Can't wait to hear this Jag purr. Coffee number two, we've had the Jag in the back for a couple of hours. Let's go see how it's going. Morning, Juice. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> so back here we've got the chrome trim for the hard top, which the owner said he took off in the 1970s. Looks to be in perfect shape. I had this open earlier, the spare has never been out, it's the original spare hadn't been on, on the ground before, it looks really nice in there. Original owner's manuals in the car. Now where we're at right now is we tried to get it running, but our car that sat this long was highly unlikely it was going to run without messing with the carburetors. So we've got the carburetors off and we're cleaning them. The motor turned over by hand easily, so we went ahead and put a battery to it and turned it over with the starter, it does turn over nice. I believe it's gonna run. So, hopefully next week we'll show you this cattle be purring. Have a great day.